Hey guys, it's Alex. Let me adjust the camera a little bit so you see my big stupid head. So the question I get asked a bunch on my page and everything to answer is when it comes time to upgrade your engine, what should you do? And I always ask, or actually I always tell people the same thing. What do you want to do? What the hell do you want to do? I mean, do you want to just make 600 wheel, 700 wheel? Do you want to actually go racing and really lean on that engine? What do you want to do? You got to figure that shit out before anything. What do you want to do? Now, if you are just you know afraid of the 11 to 14 engine not being up to par, you buy a 15 short block or a 15 long block because the cylinder heads are better and you bring your cam stuff over. Your cams, your, your chains, your sprockets, everything because the chains are different than 15 and up. Um, if you look at a crank sprocket from a 15, it's different than a crank sprocket from a uh, 11 to 14. So that motor has been known to take 900 rear wheel horsepower pretty easily. Now, that's not to say it's a guarantee. Nothing in this world is a guarantee. This is a production engine made, made on a production line. That shit can pop, you know, with 10 pounds of boost on pump gas, see ya. It's just not one of those things where it's a given that it's gonna perform well all the time. But 90% of the engines I know of that we tune make 800 plus wheel horsepower if the octane is there, if the tune is on point, if the fuel delivery is consistent, there is no issue. There really is no issue. Now, I get a lot of guys saying, well, should I buy an illuminator? Okay, why do you wanna buy an illuminator? And then they say, should I buy a low compression illuminator? Holy shit. My uh, question, actually my answer <clears throat> to whether you should buy a low compression illuminator or not is, are you planning to throw 30 pounds of boost at the car? Oh, Jesus, 30, Alex? No, I just want to throw 10 or 12. Okay, then get a regular compression illuminator or a 15 and up long block. But Alex, I want it to last long. Okay, at 10 pounds of boost? Fucking engine's gonna last forever, no matter what you do. The only reason you should get a low compression anything Coyote is when you're planning to put about 30 pounds of boost at it. I had a couple of guys recently pop an engine. They they were running nitrous through it. They were running fucking, you name it, through it. And then they said, well, I'm gonna get a low compression engine. And then what happens? They get a VMP supercharger or centrifugal, put 10 pounds of boost on it, and it makes barely, 600 rear wheel horsepower and their mind is blown wait a minute i don't get it i put 10 pounds of boost at it why isn't it making the horsepower i thought it would because it's low compression it's low compression okay so now you got no torque it don't, it don't feel like shit. it got no nut and you're like what the hell did i just spend 9500 dollars on a low compression illuminator for now if you're a turbo guy or a centrifugal guy, like with a big pro charger, like an F-series pro charger, you can go low compression because you're gonna throw all the fucking boost at it. You're gonna throw everything at it. Or if you're a turbo guy, whether it be an on three, whether it be a fluid twin turbo, whether it be a Hellion or a CPR kit, you're gonna throw 20 plus pounds of boost at it with low compression and that bitch will love it. It'll go, give me more, give me more, give me more. That's the only reason I would get a low compression illuminator. Now, that being said, with the fuels nowadays, the only reason you would go low compression and higher boost is if for whatever reason, and, and you know, not higher boost, if you wanna go low compression, no, regardless, a lot of people tell me they wanna do that because they wanna stay on pump gas. Fuck, why do people think that way? I don't understand why people think that way. I wanna stay on pump gas. Why? You're spending 10 grand on a fucking motor. Why can't you just spend two grand on a fuel system and, and pump, you know, race gas, E85 in the car um, often? Well, there's an E85 in my area. Okay, then keep a high compression and pump gas with like a Torco additive. I've seen Torco, Octanium, and Boostane. Those three uh, additives, give you about 100 octane. Okay, now, 
then it, th there comes the other, you know, side of the coin where people are like, well, I drive my car every day. Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> I don't drive my car every day anymore. I got this piece of junk, this Genesis, because I want to be on E85. I want to be able to race it as much as possible. And that shit decides to put a window in the block. I got a car to drive. A lot of people are like, well, I want to be on pump gas no matter what. Okay, then if the car's gonna feel halfway decent, you're gonna have to throw 15 plus pounds of boost that if you have a TVS or a uh, twin screw supercharger, you're gonna have to throw a good amount of boost at it to feel halfway decent at low compression on pump gas. So, I suggest this. If you ever wanna upgrade your engine, a Coyote engine, stick with the 11 to one compression. Stick with the 11 to one compression. It'll make 650 on 10 pounds of boost pretty easy. It'll make 720 on 10 or 11 pounds of boost with E85 because you can throw more timing at it and it'll feel torquey. A high compression engine feels torquier than a low compression engine because it has more compression. Not, not, not that really hard to figure out. If you're considering an illuminator, fuck, you got deep pockets, but you don't really need an illuminator if you're gonna stay in the seven to 800 rear wheel horsepower mark. A 15 and up long block is more than enough. I'm saying more than enough for that. Donnie, the guy I tune, runs 930s, has a 15 long block, and that fucking car makes 830 rear wheel horsepower through an automatic, and that motherfucker has no signs of it being worn out or wrung out or about to pop. The knock sensors are slammed saying, give me more because he's running E85 all the time. He did it right in my opinion. Now, a lot of people wanna, wanna ask if they can, you know, if they're in the market for a new illuminator the 5.2 xs okay the 5.2 illuminator xs is not a gt350 engine it is the same displacement but it has the same combo the old illuminators had uh molly pistons and manly rods it has a cross plane crank meaning a conventional crank from like a 15 mustang but it's a little beefier so but it does have gt350 heads comes with a Cobra Jet intake, comes with a twin 65 millimeter throttle body, but it does not come with GT350 cams. It comes with a special 15 and up grind. So you can just drop that bitch in a 15 and up engine or drop that bitch in an 11 to 14. As long as the tune's on point, you should be good to go. It really isn't that much of an issue, but it's 15,000 fucking dollars. It's $15,000. What the fuck? I mean, Jesus Christ. There's no such thing as a budget build at that point. Now, if you want to just, again, just let your balls hang and your dick swing, get a 5.2 XS because it's probably going to be pretty badass. But I think it's going to be limited, same to the old Illuminators, because the old Illuminators made about, a, you can make about 1,000 wheel or so, and they'd be okay. But you don't really need an Illuminator to make a 1,000 wheel. You, all you really need is 15 and up engine because the sleeves are stock. You understand the sleeves on an Illuminator are stock sleeves. It's not like, you know, Ford went to, you know, NPR or as someone and said, hey, sleeve this bitch and we're gonna sell. No, they're fucking stock sleeves on a 5.2 block. So you're gonna be limited anyway to about a thousand horse wheel. At that point, you just go get a fucking motor from a machine shop that's known to build badass shit and go party like L&M you know right now we have a motor L&M putting a set of badass sleeves in that bitch but we're not gonna go crazy with everything else it's gonna be manly rods molly pistons 15 crank ride the fuck out should make should be good for about a thousand wheel and then some because we have upgraded sleeves so if you're in the market for a motor what are you gonna do what's your plans if you're gonna mean the 800 wheel range stick with 15 and up long block they're cheap as fuck right now do you need an illuminator not really your choice between high compression and low compression, HIGH COMPRESSION! Always get high compression. God damn it, stop it with the low compression bullshit. Stop falling in love with that old school mindset, unless you're planning to throw 30 or so pounds of boost at it and the sun is fucking up my vibe, but that's my advice for today. Thanks for listening, guys. We'll talk to you later.